Happiness is from within. It's taking control of my happiness. Good morning. So I always wake up around 7.45 to 8.30. I try my best to stick within this time frame and wake up at a similar time every single day because I find I don't feel as tired when I wake up so I get up out of bed quicker. And then I make my bed as soon as I get out of bed because then I can't get back into it. That was something I used to struggle with a lot when I was in first year. I would just get back into bed and spend all day there and it made me feel really sad. So this is how I make myself really happy. And then I always put my clean pyjamas underneath my pillows so when I get into bed I can just get them on. Then I brush my teeth. I know this is so weird but sometimes I do affirmations when I brush my teeth because <laughs> why not? And then my favourite part of the day, the thing that gets me out of bed, I have my coffee, I have my Nespresso machine in my room which is really handy because when I wake up feeling not so good and really tired I know that my coffee machine is only a few steps away and I got this for Christmas really luckily and it's literally my favorite thing in the world it's so useful and then I take my coffee back over to my seat next to my bed and I have to be really quiet and step really lightly because the house is honestly the creakiest thing in the world and I don't want to wake up my housemates, of course. And then this is my favourite ritual of the entire day, is reading a really good book for about 20 minutes whilst I really enjoy my coffee and take the time and sip it and think about how grateful I am to have that coffee. It sounds ludicrous, I know, but it's changed my life. It makes me so happy. It sets me up for an amazing day. It makes me more likely to do all those other healthy habits and reading the book really inspires me and motivates me for the day. I honestly wake up earlier just so I can do this and I promise you if you find something that really you enjoy and that you can do every single morning it will literally make you excited to wake up and excited for your day and who wouldn't want to feel like that it's just the most incredible feeling and it's almost like romanticizing your life in a way I romanticize my life as much as possible because it's how I get by with the mundane tasks and then I do about 10 minutes of yoga I keep it quite short in the mornings because I know that possibly after my workout I might do a bit as well. I do love yoga so much so I try and do it but you know it changes every single day. It's not compulsory to my morning routine um, but today I did feel like doing it and it was a really beautiful sunny day so I really enjoyed just looking outside my windows, taking it all in whilst listening to some nice meditation music and it really stretches me out and makes me ready to go and do whatever I want to do whether it's a run or a workout, it sets me up for the day and I think about my intentions and I think about what my goals are for the day whilst I do this and it really, it just always sets me up for a good day. And then if I have time I sometimes like to do about five minutes of meditation, it's not proper meditation, I just try and empty my thoughts but it doesn't always happen but I do try my best and all you can do is try your best. I got my running shoes on so I could go for a quick walk before I did my workout. I think it's quite good when it's sunny to get outside for me because I really soak up vitamin D and it makes me so much happier. And it's also a great warm up and I can just go and grab things whilst I'm out if I need them. And I listen to a podcast. At the moment I've been listening to Rise and Conquer by Georgie Stevenson a lot. She's incredibly inspiring. I mean, I've been listening to her for a while. It was a beautiful day outside so I really enjoyed just strolling around for about 10 minutes and just enjoying the views and kind of just romanticising my life again. Strolling around, think I'm the main character, you know. You guys have got to try it. It's honestly so fun just to pretend you're the main character. And then I did a really good workout. It's a hip workout, so if you want to try it, I'm going to leave like the full details just here on the screen um, for each exercise so you can come back to it and try it. Um, it's kind of a hit workout. I mean I love hits so much. It makes me feel so amazing. It really releases my endorphins and gets me going. So I really recommend to do some sort of cardio or weights. It really helps with my mental health. The reason I exercise is actually nothing to do with my physical, like what I look like. And the moment I stopped exercise to lose weight, I realised how empowering it is. It's honestly my favourite thing in the world is sweating and getting those endorphins going. And I know a lot of people, and including myself, I used to be really opposed to exercising. I hated it, but it's completely changed my life. This was the first ever healthy habit that I picked up, and it's the best one. I've stuck with it ever since I was 16 and quite sad at that point, and it's always rescued me from those down points. So as long as you don't take it too far, exercise can be incredible. So if you want to try exercising, definitely try this workout. And if you already do love exercising, then this workout will definitely be good for you as well. 
And then I just started getting ready for my day. I was heading to the library after this, so I wanted to make myself look presentable. And to be honest, I love makeup. Um, I'm not that into it anymore, but I do love to do it. It makes me feel really confident and empowered, and I love feeling like the best version of myself. And again, this is all part of what makes me really happy and kind of romanticizing my life. And I feel like I'm more likely to do things that are outside my comfort zone. If you follow me on TikTok, you will know what this is all about. So every single morning nearly, I have peanut butter and raspberry porridge. The recipe is everywhere. It's on my Instagram, my TikTok. And I tell you what, it does not look as good as it tastes. And it looks good, but this, oh my gosh. It's the most delicious thing, personally, I've ever tried. I'm excited for it every single morning when I wake up. It's just perfect. It is perfection to me. I'm so sorry if you're allergic to nuts. My boyfriend's actually allergic to peanuts, so I just do the raspberry porridge without peanuts for him, and he loves it. So I really enjoyed my porridge, and I sat outside, and I try and be really present with my food, and it's all part of eating intuitively for me, is being present with your food so you don't overeat, and you can read your hunger signals really well. And then I got all dressed and ready to go to the library, but guess what? They didn't let me in because apparently I'd booked for later. It was so annoying, so I treated myself to a coffee to make myself feel better. I don't have a coffee out every day. I can't afford it, maybe once a week if I'm lucky. I really had planned out my day to be able to go to the library, but it's fine. I just worked at home and I switched off my phone to limit distractions, which is essential to working from home. I really struggle to work at my desk. So if you struggle, definitely try turning off your phone, putting it in a drawer so you forget about it and you can focus. So I just did a few hours of work on my dissertation because I really want to get it done quickly so I can start getting on with my other work. I have lots of great tips for dissertation writing that I picked up along the way and I want to make a video about this so let me know in the comments if you'd be interested and what specific questions you have because I wrote my dissertation over the Christmas holiday so I could just edit it now and not be stressed towards the end of it and I normally leave my work to the last minute so this was really good of me to do because I'm not usually like this. This coffee honestly helped me so much, it really fueled me on. And then I just did an essay plan for one of my other summative essays because I actually do have time to do that now. Having got the bulk of my dissertation out of the way, thank God. So I just snacked on some berries afterwards, which is like my favorite snack. Especially when I know I'm not really hungry, but I do like to get my micronutrients in when I'm not actually hungry and I just want to snack in there. Amazing source of antioxidants and everything. Perfect snack. So this was another super cheap and easy meal as a student. I had that reduced broccoli, which was only like 15p with those vegan Richmond sausages and some rocket, as well as a whole meal pitcher on the side, which are like 19p from Aldi. So I really enjoyed that. And then I worked until I had my afternoon snack. I just snacked on one of these Gatto & Co peanut caramel protein things. They're a bit like Oreos. They're really delicious. So I just had that whilst I did some work in the lounge because it was a bit of an in-between time, you have to book in for the library slot. So I couldn't go yet, but I was just doing my uni work here. I was completing my formative. And then I had a like Reese's peanut butter cup kind of thing, but it was vegan and a bit more natural. I've got something due in tomorrow, so I need to like, get on with that. I'm really tired. I was still kind of tired, but because I have discipline, it makes it easier for me to just follow my original plan. And if I have a plan set out and a library slot booked, it makes it much more likely for me to go to the library. And then once I sit down and I'm in the library, I'm far more likely to do my work. So here I was kind of making notes about the assessments I have due in and making sure that I've got everything in order. I'm not a very organized person, but it really helps to do this. I'm tired and that's okay. I'm stressed. Do you know what? It's fine. It's okay not to do work. Sometimes I do get a little bit shifty if I haven't been productive enough, but we don't do toxic productivity around here. And it's hard because obviously I have all these goals and I really want to be as good as I can and achieve all of them, be ambitious, but it doesn't make you a better person just because you achieve goals. You just be the best that you can be. It doesn't matter. It's not gonna make you a worse person if you don't achieve those goals. I genuinely have just been excited for dinner all day. <laughs> I'm so excited for dinner. I've like imagined it in my head all day. I might be that hungry though. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just, uh, my, my whole life revolves around food, but not in a bad way. Just like something to look forward to, you know? 
So these are literally the easiest student meal. They take like 10 minutes and they're also, I think corn mints, corn pieces are vegan. Um, so if they are, this is vegan. Um, I accidentally ate vegan the whole of today. I didn't actually mean to, but that's really great and I'm happy I did. So I start by chopping my red pepper, then spraying my pan with olive oil. I add some chopped garlic because I'm lazy and some chopped onions because I'm lazy. Um, just add that all into a bowl and let it saute for a few minutes. Eating really good, delicious and healthier food has really changed my life. It's made my skin, my hair, my body and everything, my mental health better. Um, so yeah, I'm just adding in my corn pieces here. Um, I'm adding in about two handfuls, I think. I think it made about nearly two servings. But yeah, eating healthier has really helped with my gut health and your gut is supposed to produce loads of serotonin. So it's really great for your mental health as well. And although there is some sort of additives and whatever in these kind of things, um, when I'm at uni, I tend to eat these things a bit more because it is easier and you know, you've got to live your life to some extent. It's just important to get your macros and micros in and you can't really help but use packaged stuff like that sometimes or frozen stuff and frozen stuff can be good as well um, it can even be better sometimes but don't beat yourself up just because you're using the fajita mixes or something just as long as you're trying your best to get your micronutrients in it's all that matters so good it literally just tastes like chicken so i'm going to try and do a bit more work i need to get this done it's basically just like a formative essay plan and it will really really help me with my summative when it comes around to it so i want to set myself up not for failure i didn't end up working for that long and honestly at night i get very distracted and that's absolutely okay i'm just proud of myself that i managed to sit down and do something it's those little tiny habits even if they're not 100 percent perfect that will lead you to achieve what you want in life it's okay just to be a bit distracted sometimes I always crave chocolate at night, especially when I'm on my period. So I had about half a bar of this chocolate. It's the best. If you haven't had it already, what are you doing? It's delicious. It's my favorite. So I snacked on half of that and I enjoyed it thoroughly. See, the moment that I actually became confident in myself, that's when I started going after what I want and not caring what other people think. Because if you care what other people think, it holds you back so much in life and Really, all that you need to do is please yourself and obviously the people that you love. Obviously, I have those down parts of my life. That's completely normal. It doesn't mean your life is not good when you have momentary blips. Life is not this happy thing all the time. But for me, 90% of the time it is now. Whereas it used to be 60%, 50%, 40%, maybe at my worst, 10% of the time. The moment that I started taking control of my happiness and realizing that no one else was gonna be there to make me happy. Happiness is an internal thing. I've learned so much about this from reading The Art of Happiness, reading like Good Vibes, Good Life. It's from remembering that literally no one else cares about your happiness more than you do, so you might as well take control of it because no one else is gonna make you happy. Anyway, I've just ranted on for such a long time. I'm really tired, that's why my voice sounds like this. But I hope it helps in some way. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see from me on this channel. Um, because obviously it's brand new and I just, I need some video recommendations. I don't really watch YouTube, so I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, I'm going to go to bed now and wake up 8 o'clock tomorrow. See what the day brings. I always read in the morning, so I'm actually really looking forward to waking up and reading. Like, that that's just an example of a healthy habit, like, that makes you happy. Like, I'm excited to wake up tomorrow morning because I know that there'll be a really good book waiting for me in the morning. So make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Have a lovely evening and I'll speak to you all soon.